but it's funny for me every time and it makes me do a little dance and it brings me a little bit of joy and so I do it. I object! It's not funny! Today on Judge Bex. Mia is going to the court of Judge Bex because she says her mum is annoying. Mia says every time she asks her mum what time it is, her mum says showtime. Will Mia take this to the next stage and win? Will it be curtains for Mia's mum? Court in session. All rise for the Honourable Judge Bex. Uh, I have to start off the case today by saying I was intrigued when I read the, uh, the transcripts of the digression, shall we say. Uh, so welcome to the court of Judge Bex, Mia, and to Mum Lisa, hi. 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 First of all, um, Mia, you've brought this complaint to me. Can you tell me what is happening at home? What's going on? Why do I need to help you out here? Because every time I want to know what the time is, especially like when we're doing meetings and all of my school Zooms for homework and all of that stuff, I ask my mum, what time is it? And from this uh, movie or play thing um, called Hamilton, my mum has just, and all of our, my parents and my um mother, every time I say, ask them, what time is it? They always say, show time! <laughs> very annoying. Now, this is a very curious case. I've never heard anything like it. And I very much love it, I won't lie. Uh, now, Mia, what kind of times, when are you asking for the time? Is it when you're kind of like really stressed out, really busy? Um, like when I, um, in the morning, we used to do morning uh, school Zooms where um, the time always used to change. So I always ask my mum, what is the time? And she always says show time when I am doing homework when I want to play like Minecraft with my friends. She always says showtime. Basically, every time I want to do something, my mum says showtime. Do you have a clock or a watch at all near you? Um, on my computer, um, I have a little clock at the bottom. I don't have any watches. They always like break or something like that. I I've got a tiny little one, but sometimes it takes you need to like, take away two from something. It's a confusing clock. Okay, so actually, uh, it's very important that your mum does give you the correct time because there's not many time pieces in the house. Yeah. All right, well, this is obviously when we go over to mum. Uh, mum, explain yourself. What on earth has happened here? I mean, I can't deny it. it. It is true that whenever she asks me what time it is, I do say show time. And my only reason for that really is that it's funny for me every time. It was only funny it's for It's not her funny for me time, though. But it's funny for me every time. And it makes me do a little dance and it brings me a little bit of joy. And so I do it. I object. It's not <laughs> funny. <laughs> It's so not, I hear this is from Hamilton. Is this something you've watched yourself or as a family? How, is it just you who've seen it? Well, to be so, honest, I, I blame Mia for this because we watched Hamilton for the first time in December. And then Mia played the music, the song, this very song that the showtime is from, approximately 7,891 times. That's a good song. It is a good song. But as a result, I know all the words. I watched it one time, but then she played the music 7,000 times. And so as a result, I know all the words. And the first thing that comes to mind now, because she's indoctrinated me with this song, is showtime when she asks me what time it is. That makes Mia's mom happier and more joyful and brings more joy to the house and makes me a nicer, kinder, smilier mom. And so I've, I will carry on doing it. I'm not changing anything. It's the same with dad. Every time I ask him what time it is, him, showtime. <laughs> and it's not it. even funny. <laughs> it's spreading. It's spreading across the household, and that's annoying, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But having said that, Mia, the problem with this is I do find it quite funny. So what <laughs> is my case going to be? <laughs> I am ready to make my decision. I've got my gavel. I'm going to do this. Here we go. So no. after you, after you. <laughs> In the case of Mia versus Mum Lisa, I, this is an extraordinary case. This, this is this is out of this judge's hands right now. But I think I have some kind of answer. Uh, first of all, 
it's clear, it's obvious that Mia has won this argument. Obviously, of course she has. Duh! <laughs> yeah, Mia wins. It's, of course, because she's just trying to live her best life, Mum, and you're in the way you're getting that. So, uh, here's, here's the ruling. Uh, Mum, Lisa, in future, whenever you are asked the time by Mia, you have two options. Either one, you give her the correct time and you, you tell it, or if you have a desperate need inside of you to say it's showtime, you then have to sing the rest of the lyrics to Hamilton. The whole, not just the song, the whole musical. You have to perform that whole musical. Yeah, I'll get, can I get support from Mia's brother for that? He knows more of the words than I do. No! Oh, yeah, if you've, I don't mind however you perform it, okay. but there are your two options. If you okay. give the time, if you say it's showtime, you then have to perform the whole of the musical. And because Mia knows it, she will be watching, and she she will know history will rem- history will have its eyes on you. It will it will be able to tell. <laughs> okay, that sounds fair. Calculating face. So Mia, how do you feel about that answer? Happy. 